So in total, the group spent around $263,000 on actual campaigns and candidates compared with over a million dollars more than that on personal expenses, po uh, political consultants, and fees. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And that includes exposing leftist gun controlling hacks when they are busted misusing or at least misallocating funds from their political action committees while they demean and condescend to us because Davy Hogg just got his hand caught in the cookie jar because he has gone hog wild with all those funds that he raised for his little political political action committee. You guys send this one out because he is toast. There's no way they recover from this. Everything's going to be linked in the description box below. And I cannot wait to read these comments. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And the content today is brought to you by a sponsor this week, Sportsman's Guide. Now, if you're looking to do anything outdoors for the coming spring season, you can find it at Sportsman's Guide. They've got all the heaviest hitting brands. They've got Vortex, Irish Setter, Nomad, you name it, they've got it. Basically, if it's happening outside, it's happening at Sportsman's Guide. In fact, if you are uh, chasing some freedom this spring, Walker's Hearing Protection, uh, April 14th through 27th, is 25% off. So thank you to them for that. And now let's get back to the glory that is this story. So one of the things that's really irritating, and let's be fully transparent with you guys, about the gun control gun rights fight is the attitudes and the demeaning nature of the left, the arrogance, the elitism, all the while telling you you're a bad person, right? Well, Davy Hogg has like a master's degree in this. I'm pretty sure he went to Harvard just for that. Well, listen to this, because this it doesn't look good. Exclusive, Hogg Wild. <laughs> Filings show left-wing Gen Z pack blew more than $1 million on travel expenses, consultants, and spent little on candidates. So let me just read the subtitle and then we're going to show you what Davey says. Gun control activist David Hogg is living high on the hog thanks to the many donors cutting checks to his political action committee, Federal Election Commission records show. So this is not conjecture. This is filed Federal Election Commission data. Okay. Well, Davey is clearly feeling it a little bit on his Twitter account because a lot of this money came from grassroots donations. So Everyday gun controllers, Mom Demand Action, Every Town for Gun Safety, March for Our Lives, everybody on the Twitter Twitterverse who thinks Davy is this some sort of weird little teenager into a 30-year-old hero, um, they got screwed hard. And this is his first year of political action committee. I wonder how this is going to go for his career. But let me show you what Davy says. The highest ROI, return on investment, asset any organization can have in politics is a reputation for not effing around. Being able to spend a lot and substantially increase the chances of victory for a campaign. It's already saved leaders we deserve hundreds of thousands. We're here to show you can win and actually benefit from being a bold progressive, not just taking corporate money. And another thing. There are state legislature races we are working on right now and leaders we deserve, but we spend over 200000 in, in IEs on. If any special interests go against our candidates simply because they don't take corporate money, I thank you for wasting your money on losing race. So he's trying to posture because he's got his hand caught in the cookie jar. Now, this is the most beautiful part about this. I'm about to walk you through the money on this. And Davy's little elitism, smug condescension and I'm an aggrieved teenager kind of punk rock vibe that he rocks it's not going to go over too well with his followers which I hope you send to everyone you know when they raised as much money as I'm about to show you and then where it went in fact let's look let's look at this real quick since Hogg's group came into fruition, much of the few million dollars raised has gone not to electing candidates or elect or executing its stated mission, but to luxurious expenses, such as travel bills, as well as political consultants and legal fees. In fact, the group in 2023 only spent a, on a handful of candidates, four to be exact, one of whom was already serving in the U.S. Congress. Matthew, this is Maxwell Frost, author of The Zombie Gun, and another who lost a race in a special election in Alabama. The vast majority of the group's money, the FEC, F, oh my gosh, FEC filings show, did not go to helping candidates at all, and much of it went to other political consultants at various firms, as well as Hogg and Lada, who is the other person who founded it, with a lavish travel budget. It doesn't smack too good when you're talking about 
the little people and big corporate money and taking advantage of everybody in the system because the downtrodden, the proletariat need to rise up against the bourgeoisie and you're spending like you're part of the bourgeoisie with the money from the proletariat that they promised would be used to defeat the system. Yeah, Davy, you're a fraud. You've been a fraud on gun control forever, but because you stepped in a bigger pond, you're now got your hand caught in the cookie jar. Let's continue. Let me show you some of these monies here. The year-end 2023 FEC filing from Leaders We Deserve shows the group stated it raised slightly north of $3 million in its first year of operation. The group reported $3,035,868.87 in 2023, which is a lot of money. Now, there's a lot of big donors, but a majority of this was smaller donors. Again, these are the acolytes on the bottom. Okay, This is the grassroots support of which Davey is trying to grift off of at this point, to be completely honest with you. But there's gun control money that went in here too. Check this out. The group also took in a total of $41,000 over three transfers from another political action committee that Hogg is involved in called Ban Assault Weapons Now. That group, of course, was Hogg's first major foray into the political arena after Parkland. So he took gun control money and put it into that exact same political action fund. Are you guys seeing what's happening here? The left, who is all about against the big guy and Davies all, we're not taking corporate money and we're the purest on the street because big Democrats are mean. Yeah, doing the exact same things, if not worse. Awkward. Let's continue, though. Let me show you some of these monies. Of the more than $3 million raised in the first year of operations, the Leaders We Deserve PAC spent only $263,000 on its stated mission of electing candidates from Gen Z to office combined with donations to other Democratic, Democratic committees and groups, and in spe instead spent more than $1.4 million on disbursements for themselves for payroll and to political consulting firms and legal fees, in addition to travel and entertainment expenses like hotels, flights, and meals. Now, I don't give a crap where you spend your money. That doesn't matter to me at all. In my opinion, you're just wasting money that was meant to go against or go for gun control. So go team. But when your whole shtick is I'm an angry teenager trapped in a 30-year-old's body, join my political action campaign because Gen Z is going to pave the way to gun control, and you spend all the grassroots money on yourself? Yeah. This right here is what you call not ready for the big time because you just got money that you didn't earn or deserve and you don't know the value of it, and so now you're just blowing it because you're special. Okay, let me show you a couple more things here because this is so bad for Davey. Before even getting into the travel expenses meticulously detailed through the FEC report, the group spent more than $1.3 million of the money it raised in the first year just on other political consultant firms and legal fees. That means Hogg and his crew spent nearly half of the money he raised just on other political consultants and legal fees, not on candidates. Another nearly $36,000 went to expenses for travel, entertainment, and meals for Hogg and Latta listed throughout the FEC report. That includes Uber, Lyft rides, flights, hotels, restaurants, and more. Davies, what two weeks ago was talking about, or a week ago, was talking about going to see the eclipse and you can bum a ride from anybody. Guys, this, this is the biggest joke. It's on his Twitter feed. This guy just got smoked, and he is an absolute fraud. And everyone's sending money to him deserves exactly what you're getting because this right here is where you send your money if you just want to see it wasted and misused because this kid is a grifter. You can see it right here. That's not an empty accusation. $3 million comes in, 1.5 goes to political consultants and your personal expenditures and luxurious travel. And now you're talking about, oh, we just don't have enough money because we're going to change the world. Okay, Davey. Okie dokie. Well, Hogg himself was also paid nearly $40,000 in payroll payments per the FEC filings, and Latta got more than $50,000 in payments. Since the group launched mid-year, and these payments started in the late summer, this does not represent a full annual salary, but just a few months of work. So he's paying himself forty grand a month or a, a quarter, essentially, for what spending all of his donations on political consultants. In fact, to just to put a fine point on this. So in total, the group spent around $263,000 on actual campaigns and candidates, compared with over a million dollars more than that on personal expenses, po uh, political consultants, and fees. Davey might not recover from this one. Because if you've got an organization that's in your first year and you raised $3 million and you spent more than a million dollars of that overhead on all the things other than candidates, and it's coming from grassroots supporters... I don't know, man. 
when you have no rep and people take risks and give you money and then you burn it like this in the first year of operation, it really doesn't look good. Make sure you guys send this one everywhere. And this one might actually be the final, uh, the final bye-bye to Davey in time. But that's up to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.